Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's your boy Stuff on Hall. And we are doing my primary deadlift day. So we got five sets of three. 405 pounds. And man. <laughs> that uh feeling when you know you started something, you know, it feels good. And sometimes you know they say it is bittersweet to have something that you started and or you know be coming towards the end and yeah guys we're uh two weeks out from being done with uh the cutting season i'm just you know looking what i have left in the program because it um it really hasn't changed since um week nine so it usually changed every uh four weeks so you know we're definitely in the home stretch and you know you know i'm looking back and i'm thinking about you know how far we came uh you know since we started like you know the uh body composition that we were able to achieve you know even you know the weight on the scale you know i tell you at the end of the day we're not really chasing a number on the scale because we're not competing anytime soon uh in any powerlifting meets so you know we're not really chasing the number you know but we're not uh we're not going to cut down to where, you know, we're sacrificing strength, like we're trying to step on stage or anything like that. Uh, you know, uh, I've thought about it, you know, stepping on stage, but, you know, right now it's just not, it's not a priority uh, that I'm really thinking about, you know, as long as I'm, you know, can stay uh, aesthetically pleasing and, you know, stay strong since you know i'm uh powerlifting then that's what i'll take uh all day long because you know at the end of the day you know i want strength you know i've looked you know good you know plenty of times in my life uh but you know there's some numbers that i want to definitely uh hit you know before you know i have to hang it up or whatever you know i mean it's granted that's probably a very long time away but, you know, I definitely have numbers in mind that I want to hit. And, you know, right now that is uh, at the forefront of my priorities is to, you know, hit those numbers. Uh, you know, some people say, well, if that's the case, then why did you cut weight? Um, and so, you know, staying at your weight and then, you know, water cutting down to the weight class that you want to be in. And, you know... I would say, yeah, you, you have a point, but, you know, for, you know, my first powerlifting meet, um, I just want to compete in my, you know, natural weight class. I don't want to, you know, cut, I mean, do a water cut and, you know, feel like trash or, or you know, not execute right and then be in a weight class that, you know, uh, I'm not naturally in. So that's why, you know from what um people that have done powerlifting meets in my gym and from what some of the coaches uh from uh powerlifting out here you, you know your first one you just you know compete get in the atmosphere have fun and whatever's there on that day is just whatever's there on that day and you just take it for what it is so you know, essentially everything is a, a meat PR that day because it's your first one. So it just gives you, you know, something, you know, definitely to, you know, grind towards. Um, I think, you know, I was uh, looking and I think there's a novice meet in February or March. I'll definitely have to uh, check back to let you guys know about that. But um, I'm just, you know, waiting to get a singlet in stock. Uh, you know, cause I just don't feel like I want to, you know, sign up and, you know, commit to something and, you know, the way the world is right now and, you know, not have a singlet. Um, but I mean, I could buy a used one, but, you know, like I said, it's my first one, it's going to be first, my first meet. So I just want to, you know, have a new singlet, you know, maybe another new pair of knee sleeves, uh, possibly tighter, you know, some cop knee sleeves. And I just want to go in and be, you know do my thing you know whatever is there in that day um i'm gonna soak it up you know i'm gonna uh you know be hyped to be you know around other uh strong individuals in my weight class and we're just gonna enjoy the atmosphere and you know hopefully you know that's really addicting 
I mean, from what I hear, as usually is when uh, people have their first meet and they get hooked. And, you know, from there on out, you know, they're just competing. And if that does happen, I think uh, I'll end up probably doing a meet, I would say, once every season. So maybe three or four meets a year. Uh, but like I said, that, that's uh, something we'll talk about when, you know, we get that first meet underneath our belt and, you know, we uh, have feedback and, you know, I let you guys know how, you know, the experience of going to my first parlay for me was. So with that being said, this will be the last movement of the video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you never miss an upload from me. And yes, your boy is two weeks out. Yes, two weeks out. It's coming to an end. But all good things must come to an end. It's your boy, Stephon Hall. And I catch you in the next one. Peace.